welcome back to the Q Continuum. Today we're going to be playing some Jump Light Odyssey, and I've never played it before, so it's going to be the first time that that I've, I've ever really seen it. I, I think I've seen the trailer for it, and that's kind of what led me to uh, go for it. The it, it it kind of appeared on my radar, and I just couldn't resist because it's it's. Basically, it's a space adventure sim. It's also anime inspired, I suppose. Uh, and it just looked really cool. So I, I definitely want to do that. I'm trying to figure out, I don't know if I, uh, let me see if I can exit to desktop and get it going again. Cause I was testing it and it played the, the intro. So let me, let me, let me do this and see if if I can get it to start up. Since before time, whenever our explorers were lost, they would look to the forever star to find their way home. Now, a great darkness has found us. The warmongering Zootopans sought to extinguish our light. In a desperate bid to defend our beloved home, we committed everything we had. Yet, the cold malice of Admiral Voltan couldn't be stopped. The battle was lost. Damn. I knew what I had to do. Where our only hope lies. I, Princess Euphora, last remaining regent of our people, will lead us to the Forever Star. Those of us who survived that day lost everything. But this is not our end. We will survive. Well, together. Did that guy have a saw? Keep hope alive. There was a dude in the back with a saw, right? I mean, it's not just me. Hunt them down. No survivors. Ooh, damn. Okay. So there we go. <laughs> uh. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, I didn't even think about Steven Universe, but I think you're right. Uh, I, I, I got more of a... For sure... Yeah, for sure, uh, Yamato. Absolutely. And also for sure, Macross, aka Robotech. And, uh, yeah. Okay. I mean, so far, it's pressing down on all my buttons. So let me press its buttons and we can continue. <laughs> the SDF Catalina, I love it. <laughs> oh, I can connect Twitch? How does this work? Hold on. This is new. I did not know about this. All right, so let's uh let's do a new game. You guys uh you guys ready to rock?
I I don't know. Oh, tutorial. Let's do. Let's do the tutorial real quick. <laughs> hey, Relly, how are you? I'm I was I'm still a little taken aback by the the guy with the saw in the back <laughs> over there. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to need to find a new position for the webcam. Hold on. I might need to, yeah, I might need to lower myself here. Maybe, maybe shrink me a bit. I have no idea. I just hope that wasn't like a doctor. <laughs> uh, so great. Okay, use WASD. Use Q and E to rotate. Uh, C or E or just everybody running around wildly. I'm just sitting in the center having a coke. Easy now, officer. I who now let me ask you a question who among us hasn't said that at one point in their uh, driving history uh wait okay so use oh 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 my Okay, but the hot tub is okay. Okay, there's no gravity here, I don't think. People are just floating around. Except for this robot has gravity, apparently. Oh, my. We only have a uh, fighter and two shuttles available to us. And I think, got it, okay. Oh, okay. Look at that. That's gotta be the beryllium sphere from the NSCA protector. Yeah, that's yeah, that was definitely put together by Corsair. Or possibly Razor. <laughs> Warp cores by Razor. You know it's coming soon. You know it's happening. Less than half? Oh jeez. Okay. Hope you like redecorating. <laughs> And then, of course, Engine Room reports the jump light core is stable with all jump, jump light regulators intact. If we lose those, we lose everything. Yeah, <laughs> give me a second to think. I assume this was supposed to be, like, cel-shaded, maybe. They were trying to do a cell shade. Okay, so use space to pause time. But they're still talking to me. Time has been paused. <laughs> the Muzak is, is brilliant. Uh, they become wounded. So select a character. Jeb is on patrol. Oh, select a wounded crew member. Uh, crap. Sorry, Jeb. Uh, 
Oh, okay. But he looks like he's wounded because he's down to 24. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Her reports are, okay. Okay, he is wounded in the manifest and Oh, manifest tab, okay. I see it. I see it. Thank you. Combat Marshal, Chief Engineer, Supply Officer, Chief Scientist, PT4, Genius Robot, Engineer, Engineer, Marine, Marine, Marine. Okay, so now what? Uh, lower the ship's alert level. Let's with a small lead. Okay, where's the alert level at? Oh, okay. Enter green alert. Unpause to let. Active duty only. Everyone else get some rest. <laughs> I think a laser cutter would carve pretty much anything. Why not just use like a, a water blade? <laughs> yes, green alarm. All right, where's the guy with the saw? All right, so we're going to go into build mode. Create, okay, select the med bay. Go to the toolbox. Power switch. May not, must be placed on a wall. Okay. So we'll put there. Okay. And confirm. Oh. Go to build site. Pauline, metal, and plastic across the ship. At the double. Uh, all right, so how do we... Support, okay, supply division performs... Shipwide hauling. Transferring more characters into the supply division. Oh! Uh. That's great. <laughs> what was that? Uh, okay. I'm going to transfer some of the Marines into, wait, hold on. I thought that was the, hold on, hold on, manifest. Okay, that didn't help me. Oh, okay. All right, all right. It's just like talking to my cat. There's got to be an easy way to do this. and transfer them. Ah, there we go, transfer. See, that was not immediately apparent. Okay, so I transferred one Marine over to supply and that was apparently enough. Okay.
This kind of reminds me of like Evil Genius. I don't know if you guys remember Evil Genius. I remember um, Low Life Kitty would play that a lot. Oh, speed up time. That looks like an engineer, but, oh, there you go. On Metagel. My dude, you had a door like right here. Yeah, for sure. This dude had a door right here. What's up, Jay? How you doing, man? Okay, so he delivered gel. Uh, scientists need biomass to synthesize metagel. We should secure by creating a... Oh, okay, so we're gonna go into build mode. And we need greenhouses. So we'll just... We'll make one here. And confirm. Oh, right. We're going to need a power switch. Uh, we got to go back. Greenhouse. Add new object. Power switchy. We'll put it on this side. It looks better there. And then we confirm hold. So let's fast forward. Oh, I played Starfield yesterday. You missed out. I did I did three plus hours of Starfield. But today I wanted to play Jump Light Odyssey. No, there's quite a few people who don't have it. There we go. I think that's Emery. That's the that's the supply. Oh no, it's Yuba. Okay. Oh, the robot did it. Oh, that is cool. What was the what was the name of the robot on Star Blazers anyway? Analyzer, right? Now this is definitely star this is definitely Yamato music right here. I like how the background music is kind of cribbing. Uh okay, so draw power and generate. Uh, add an oxygen generator to your greenhouse. Oh, hold on. And we'll put that on this side. And confirm. Let's plant an algae crop. So we go back into build mode. And we add new object. Can I? Wait, can I rotate? Oh, yes.
Wait, can I? Damn it. There we go. All right, so we've got the O2 gen. We're going to fast forward. <laughs> Joe. Thank you, Joe. I appreciate your assistance. I will say the tutorial in this game is light years ahead of the tutorial in Evil Genius 2. I was going to put that out there. Evil Genius 2's fucking tutorial was not good. Well, it was on, I, I bought this on sale uh, when they launched. And I hadn't touched it. I I didn't always intended on playing this on stream. And then there was a, a few weeks there where I was just pounded by work, and I honestly was, I wasn't really too, I I didn't know if I was really going to stream anymore or not because I just could not find the time, and I was getting a little, it, it was a little rough. Okay, so Metagel, we're at plus produce. Let's bring up the star map. Oh my. Well, at least we know where we're going. <laughs> Holy moly. Capable holding and releasing jump light in order to transfer the ship vast distances. Verdant world. Oh, this is okay. Insufficient jump light. Insufficient jump light. A little scarce. So how do we okay, hold on. Uh jump light must be captured. How do you beyond jump range? Let's go to the engine room. Ah, okay. Uh, requires an operator. So, what we need to do is locate some unsuspecting. Oh, wait, hold on. You, oh my god, <laughs> the chief engineer couldn't figure that out. Select a shuttle and assign crew to it. Uh, okay, so do. <laughs> I know, right? 
Why was the power switch off? Uh, let's go with... Nell... And... And we'll also go with... Oh, okay. missions salvage opportunity and ouch oh I gotta wait for the crew oh yeah dungeon keeper was fun Okay, do, do I get to see the... Do the crew... Oh, there they are, okay. Nope, it ain't there. Oh, I can't, uh, I can't do a combat air patrol. Uh, where did I go? <laughs> Oh, reporting to the bridge, okay. Well, establishing a cap. Yeah, I suppose. Is there like a mission status? And where are you going? Gonna go talk to Varen, I guess. Man, I could write fanfic about this. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna start writing fanfic about this, this fucking game. I, I would have to assume that she was, um, oh wow, if Princess Euphora dies, your odyssey will end, oh shit. What? There's got to be a brooding mission on her list, right? <laughs> well, they're raised to believe that. OK. 
Can somebody clean up the mess here? I mean... Damn, look at her. Her suite. She's got, like, this huge suite. Okay. Perfect success. That's what happens when you let Marines run the mission. Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Addison's call sign is now Ox. <laughs> Of composite. What? What did I say? I didn't say anything bad. I said perfect success is what happens when you let Marines lead the mission. I wasn't being. Was I, was, is that wrong? <laughs> okay, so I think we are. Getting more bio... Yeah, so we have plus five biomass. We need more composite. You want to launch a cap? Well, let's see. We got to go... Let's go back to the bridge. And we'll view the star map. Nope, not quite yet. But it looks like we are accumulating jump light for the next 16 hours. Are you actually gonna? Are you gonna? Are you gonna record it? like there are areas in here take a break at some point because I'll do a news video about the new player bridges <gasps> there are new player bridges oh these are bunks okay I want to know how, how uh how much new crew we can get. Three coming, one KDF, two fed. As it should be. Oh wow, we've got like all sorts of space to expand here. Look at this. Could add more turrets. Quarter deck. So I've got these two rooms here. This whole space here. These two here. I know, right? Med bay, manufacturing, corridor.
And then... Oh, okay. Seed bank. Pea crop, bean crop. Okay, we gotta. I gotta wait for them to actually build the room before I put stuff in it. There we go. Oh, jump drive standing by. So Princess Euphora gives her speech. Okay, let's go. Okay. What's up, Hoggy? How are you? <laughs> I guess, so it, it basically it's cat and mouse, right? We basically have to stay ahead of the fleet. So we'll go, we'll go that route. Oh. Use build mode. Oh, sweet. Okay, well, I've been waiting for that. Deconstruct, add, no, nope, no, nope. clear debris. Oh, can I do I, I can only select one at a time? Oh, it's for the whole thing. Okay, that's excellent.
I know, right? I want to fire the wave motion gun. It doesn't look like it has one, though. No hot hole here. How you doing, Augie? Good to see you, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. No problem. I have to say, it looks pretty cool. I'm liking the view. Yeah, I actually am liking it. I've been watching you for a little bit. <laughs> It actually looks like a game I could get into, but it's $40, and I kind of want to save some money before I spend any more. <laughs> and then we'll do a... Uh, let's do... There we go. All right, we got two shuttles on missions. There you go, Joe. It's pretty, it's interesting. I, 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 I like the setup and I certainly like the, the look feel of it is really, is really neat. Where, where did the mission screen go? Um, it, it really, it reminds me of Evil Genius, uh, Evil Genius 2, which is, I, I, I hesitate to describe this as like a 4X because it's not really, it, it's more of like a city builder, right? It's just that it, the, the city moves through space. And you have to, I mean, there's a lot of stuff you got to do, too, to. Here we go. Supply command, combat command. Manifest. Apparently build an upgrade. Radar amplifier. Combat console, engineering console, robot charging station. Oh, okay. We need more genius robots. <laughs> Absolutely need more genius robots on this ship. And we will do more jump light calibration. I think that'd be cool. Y yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, I was, I, I was thinking about that. So if I upgrade with the engineering console, oh, that's construction speed. 
this is combat damage. This is okay. So we're building that movement speed, engineers robot, and then intel range. Oh, that wouldn't be too bad. The thing is, though, if I if I fill up all of these slots, I guess I, you're limited, right, in the number of uh, upgrades. It looks like that you can have. Uh, it looks like you can only have six total, which I think that's about right. Um, otherwise, I feel like this you could this could get OP very quickly. Oh, nice. Well done. And so I'm just going to go through and clear all the debris. Oh man, there's a lot in, in the med bay. Oh, there's look, hope is is above. Perfect success. We got eleven more crew members. Oh shit. Uh launch. And let's also do a resource extraction mission with our supply team. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, we're going to need three minutes. still unloading the shuttle <laughs> from the previous mission and I'm like get out there get out there guys do it do it they're like we just got back boss I know right give us a minute <laughs> But do we have enough people? I guess that's where the survivors come from. Right, let's clear debris out of here. Oh, no, wait, hold on. Uh, there we go. Yep. I gotta wait until... Until those other crews come back. Oh, so we're good to go, but I gotta wait until they come back. The first one's going to come back soon.
Nice. Uh, all is well and good. We prepare with the a battle will convince and or there can be no victory. We can defend your preserve it by yourself more time. Uh, all right. So now we got to do ammo. And how do you make ammo in manufacturing? And do I have a manufacturing bay? All right, let's uh, jump to light speed. Let's bring that star a little closer, shall we? Punch it. Sequence initiate in five, four, three, two, one. keep sending these guys out because right I got that I got that no call sign no call sign oh wow let's do a survey operation hello Fang hope you're doing good good day to you too um Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll do that one. And then we'll set target for jump there. Right, but I, so I'm concerned. I'm actually a little concerned over the, I don't know if we're going to have enough room for everybody because it's a spaceship. We only have a finite amount of space to put people in, right? So I'm assuming at some point. But the other mission that I'm thinking about... Oh, it's going to slow the away mission? Oof. All right, so let's go up to the bridge. Thirty minutes. Eh, not too bad. All right, man. Where are you? Where are you heading? You taking off? All right, well, have fun. And we'll clear debris from there. All right, what about the quarter deck? Any more debris? Yep, debris here. Targeting computer, ammo magazine. Oh, it needs a security hub. Are there any other... No, okay.
there's the airlock door. Let's go down one. I don't think we can create more hangers. Yeah, the lower, the quarter deck? Yeah, maybe. We can create one of these into a security hub. Although... Huh. I'm wondering if this is big enough room or do we make this the security hub? Half of that? Hmm. But it's also an airlock. That's why I'm like, eh. It is, but as I said, I'm a little hesitant. This might make a good security hub too. We've got we've got this big old room here too. And that's close to the uh, lifts here. Well, this is just a tutorial, so. Also gonna need a power switch. And oxygen generator. So we'll wait until that gets done. But while that's working, I still need to figure out how to make ammo. Yeah, there's that too. I feel like we need another shuttle though. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so there's the metal extractor. And apparently there's ammo in that pile. There's the reactor. Where, where did you see manufacturing? Is it on this deck or is it on the lower deck? Oh, and also we should probably check out the manifest. How do I move them from one to the other, though? I thought there was like an assignment. Like if I go to Misha, I can transfer her. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I guess not. generate power in a power station. Ah, okay. So we need... Right, but you say back to, and I'm like, where was it? I didn't even see it. Yeah, I know, I see that. Water condenser. Manufacturing power station, okay. Greenhouse. I think it's because we're taking on... Oh. More people means we gotta have more water. Hold on. One moment.
Okay, so refresh. Refresh your um, your Twitch screen and let me know when you've done that. Quarter deck front, okay. Is that here, the fuel burning reactor or metal extractor? Yeah, that's it, right? So we would need to go into build mode up here. And add new object. Plastic fabricator, uh, 2D printer, refrigerator. Ammo factory. There we go. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Let's try that again. But we do need an ammo factory, right? Okay. Yeah, we're a little broke. We don't seem to be dying for power or anything. But yes, water is gone. Oh, shit. Okay, uh, that's not good. Consumes oxygen.
Let's start. Let's start with the basics. And we'll go from there. And in the meantime, let's go to the star map. I think we have everybody back. We do. All right. Initiate jump light drive. Jump light in five, four, three, two, one. And we'll target for jump. did get us some time there. Let's go back down to the, I think it was a quarter deck, right? Waterworks. Okay, we'll start with two. I understood that reference. <laughs> What's up, Jim? All right, we, now we're running a cap. Joe, we got your cap running. What, that you understood that reference? <laughs> Go to quarter deck. Well, I like my hope uh, up here is nice. Uh, no, we I, uh, yesterday I did uh, Starfield. Today I'm doing Jump Light Odyssey because I'd, I'd had this one in my queue for a really long time, and I wanted to play it. I think I've had it. I've had it on Steam or uh, installed for over a month, but I never touched it. No missed interceptions on record. Okay. Perfect success. Yep. 
Yeah, that's definitely the A team right there. Oh shit. There, we got volunteer spots open. You get to be the unconscious person. We're plus, though. Didn't we just, we put uh, up on the quarter deck, I thought we installed two new water condensers. Yeah, so the water water should be up now. sign I'm just trying to get all the missions done as, as soon as possible here. They feverish? No, okay. Uh give me a sec. Yeah, I I didn't move it, but it it has been having some issues. Um There, try try that one. That's the that's the actual like site. I guess not. I think it's because we picked up more crew, so we're gonna have to. I think we're gonna have to install more water condensers. Or at least one more water condenser. And I just sent them out on another freaking search and rescue mission, too. <laughs> so, so there's that. Uh, do I have? I don't know if I have enough resources for it, but let me see. Oh, I do. Okay, cool. Well, then we will. We shall do that. 
go up to the bridge check out this should be like on the overlay somewhere Mission was a failure, uh oh. You had one job, Q. One job. <laughs> well, it wasn't it wasn't me. <laughs> oh, I see. Isolated. Crew. Three crew are dehydrated. One crew are wounded. Promenade, I think, is where the kitchen is. Yes, okay. Turbo dishwasher. Let's put a tea machine there. But I sincerely hope that the water condensers are going to hold up. Oh, it, oh, shit, okay. I guess we're we're producing water, but it's not getting to the peoples. Where is I gonna go? God damn it! Right. Okay. It needs a two D printer in the same room. Also, this room does not have a power switch. Nor does it have that. So we'll put that. thought we did that one increase ammo stores yeah we're working on it
Oh shit. Let's go. Ship to jump light. Hold on, everyone. Okay, it's me. Probably should have checked down there first before I initiated the. Three, two, one. I was kind of hoping that we could finish all the missions in that one area, but I guess not. All right, looks like metal extractor is working. But we don't have the tea dispenser. Yeah, hmm. Limitato or does it really? Okay. We also have a lot of biomass, too. Yeah, it's always something, right? Well, we have like a massive area down. Oh, and I haven't even built the security hub yet. I feel like I'm at work. <laughs> uh, shit. All right, so we've got this, we've got this area. got our uh, beryllium sphere
Damn. Okay, well, shit. Prioritize metal producting, or production, sorry. Um, that's on the quarter deck. not good. It's possible it might be now. I gotta put these people to work though. They're just hanging out. Civilians do not work. Oh, really? Really, thank you so much for the coffee. Subscription. Oh, Ko-Fi. Sorry, Ko-Fi. I appreciate that. <laughs> um. Oh man. Oh, they just provide hope. Oh well, God, they're gonna they're gonna starve. Hopefully. Might have to create a second uh, crew area. Oh, there's uh. Hey, Theron. How you doing, man? Can civilians accidentally be Damn. I know, right? Hold on. You should have been here yesterday. <laughs> oh, this is going to get a little hairy. Actually, guys, let me... Uh, I just noticed that I've... Uh, let me take a break real quick. Uh... I'm going to run some ads. So unless you're subscribed, you won't see them, but uh, we'll be back in a, in a bit. All right, welcome back everybody. I got, I got, I got drink. I was very thirsty. <laughs> I also added uh, the, uh, the additional time for the coffee or Ko-Fi subscription so thank you Riley that added uh, 10 minutes to the timer don't forget that subscriptions and bits and uh, all of that good stuff 
contributes to the uh, timer. Okay, so we were we were here. I think we're. Oh, we still have the. We're still good. We're still going. All right, Joe, what, what were we doing? <laughs> what do we need to do? We need more couches or something. Metal extractor still going. And that thing is just literally chewing shit up. Completely out of missions here. Okay. But these guys are getting awfully close. Alright, so quick question. Where shall we go? We've got Barren World. We've got Verdant World. Barren world. Oh, nice, there. That's good. To, that's good to hear. Are you going to be streaming uh, Stowe again? All right, Harris. We'll do that. Resource extraction.
All right, we, uh, I don't know if Joe's still around. We have 36 metal. And I think if we go to the quarter deck. going crazy on this stuff. So are you going to join me and Stu? And uh, Big Papa on the continuum. Well, I am not inclined to spend forty dollars on the game, so I'm gonna wait for a sale. Definitely wait for a sale. I I jumped in on the launch sale, which uh, was fifty percent off. Had you told me about it, I probably would have bought it. Um, pretty sure that Firepuff told everybody in the Variety channel. I was not pinged, so. <laughs> I look at all the channels, well, when I can. Dude, I'm part of like 30 fucking servers. I can't keep up with them all. <laughs> see if I can there's got to be a way to make more composite oh there we go okay um so it needs 26 metal I think that's plastics plus nine composite. I love that composite. The composite assembler needs composite in order to function. Oh, I need, oh, I gotta make the printer first, got it. I gotta, I gotta create the printers first. That's what's gonna eat up, like my metal and my uh, composite. I'm surprised Stu isn't in the uh, voice chat or Theron. You know, you guys are welcome to come into the voice chat if you want to. Yeah, I remember I, I, yesterday when we were we were actually talking about you yesterday, and I was like, has anybody heard from Theron? <laughs> Is he doing all right? Hey, what's up, Captain Wade? How you doing? I'm sorry to hear that, Theron. I didn't know that. Someone call my name. What's up, man? Hello there. 
Um, still alive. Taking each day as best I can. Yeah, you gotta take care of that luscious Canadian ass. Damn right. But no, no, things have been different in the past few months. With the with the passing of my mom. Yeah. Just meeting my dad and as I said in chat, I'm trying to do my first cherry stream. <laughs> Working on a uh, um doing some STO. Um and do and getting a couple of people together for a uh, Star Trek Adventures one shot. Nice. Still haven't fully figured out uh, what to do other than that. I still need to do stuff like the the tiltify. I'm I'm doing this as a one man operation, so <laughs> you know how that can be. Heck, I I think I think one uh, another thing I might do. Um, uh, I have no idea how people's schedules are, but I actually might uh, pop in another game other than Stowe. Uh, what? Something Star Trek related is. Um, sorry, words. Um, doing something uh, I haven't played in a while, and there's been updates. Ghostbusters. Oh, Ghostbusters uh, Spirits Unleashed? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I saw there's like an another new map. The nightclub, and there's another ghost. And we got to hear the call uh, shells. Mm hmm. Um, Starfield was fun. I, I will play that. I don't know that I'll play it on stream, but I certainly will play it again. So I'm trying to find a. Um... Yeah, he's right. I'm going to have to make crops. Gotta have an arboretum. <laughs> yep. So we're gonna have to go down to the lower deck. Lower deck. Hire Kiko O'Brien and uh, Kess to do it for you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe not. I'm, I'm, I must say I do like I do like this game in the in the fact that your ship kind of is uh, is like the space battleship Yamato. Mm -hmm. That's a nice throwback. Oh damn. Potato, tomato, and exotic seeds. Okay, so I have to do a seed bank first. Only in the room. Okay, so yeah, I gotta create another I gotta create another thing here. Either that or I have to Oh, actually. Wait, who died? Jimmy Buffett. What? Yep, it was announced yesterday uh, Jimmy Buffett uh, passed away. Oh, okay. I've done... <laughs> I was talking about in the shuttle, but that was. <laughs> that was... Hi, this is what I get for multitasking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my uh, yeah, yeah. wait a minute! Wait a minute! Trying to play a game here, you know? Like, oh my god! Of oh, the normal launch, yeah. I I got a discount on the premium, um, the premium Starfield. I got 15% off, so I took advantage of it. Okay, the I don't thing, know. The best thing about something is never get it full price. <laughs> yeah. 
I don't know if we're going to have enough jump light to make it. I may have to start over anyway. Because I think I, I'm... Oh no, Brynn died! Austin Powers? Catwood, are you talking about the PNG queue on the camera screen there? Oh. Um, I, I think that's what he's talking about. I don't know. I'm having fun with it. I, I, it could be permanent. Who knows? But I've been, I've been PNG tubing for a while. Actually, I kind of want to see what happens when they actually reach you. We will see. No, this is no, this is still this is this is still Q. He just drank too much of that uh, Orion drink. Oh, the Durlac. yeah, the lock. Which I assume is like absinthe or something. <laughs> I am so glad they introduced that in that fucking episode. That episode is one of the best. Oh yeah. Some some of the some of the best episodes for season two were a lot a lot of that the other crowd were so whiny about. I mean subspace rhapsody, I love that. It was yeah, pretty awesome. It was fun. They did so well with that. The only reason they're complaining is that they want it to go a certain way. They don't they don't like change at all. Yeah. Some some could say that's the Trek old guard. For me, I'm like variety? Heck, why not? I also like in such a Rhapsody that they also did a uh, a throwback nod to Buffy the Vampire Slayer. They did, yeah. For once more with feeling. That made me chuckle. <laughs> oh crap. I think we're done, folks. Contact. Are we being coming contacted by aliens? Something like that. Hold on. There we go. Oh no, Addison. Manage missions, resource extraction. Launch.
I think it was necessary. Um, that was something that I think Melissa Navius was talking about. Um, or at least I heard that she was talking about it at the, um, at the con. That in terms of um, the pacing of the episodes, that they were dealing with such heavy subjects in the back half of season two that they kind of needed those levity episodes so that it wasn't, you know, didn't turn into Battlestar Galactica, the, yeah. the new Battlestar Galactica. Otherwise, it would just been a, a total downer. You know, if, 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 if we just had like five heavy subject episodes in a row, you kind of needed the crossover episode and the musical episode to kind of balance things out a bit. Yeah, especially with this season fin that season finale. Oh God. Mm hmm. They better not kill off Ortegas. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. <laughs> I think if people if if they kill off Ortega if they kill off Ortegas, people are gonna riot because she flies the ship. Mm hmm. No one else. She flies the ship. She is Ortegas. She flies the ship. <laughs> yeah, the music, um, the music, I guess, had a weird effect. I thought it was, if, if we're going to compare musical episodes, I thought it was better than Once More with, with Feeling. Um, yeah. The music in Once More with Feeling were, was not great, and not to mention... No. More than but, with everybody the, except for two had legit singing experience, like professional singing experience. Strange New Worlds, on the other hand, everybody except for Anson Mount, and I think even Anson Mount has done stage singing, um, but everybody is either a pro singer or has done musicals or, you know, I mean, it's pretty... And it's funny, like the musical episode that I think I would have loved to have seen is a Discovery musical episode, considering you know the cast. Oh. They're, oh. they're 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 they've all they've all been on Broadway. They've all been in musicals. Well, well, the closest we've gotten to that is we had like a little snippet, I think, of uh, of the Discovery cast singing. Uh, I think it yeah. was a uh, parody of uh, song from Rent. Rent, yeah, Seasons of Love. Yeah, I know. It was, uh, yeah. <laughs> and I love that it started out with. Uh, um, it was just, it was just very appropriate to me. But. Uh, but yeah, I, I I totally agree with you, uh, Stu. All, season one was great for Discovery. Don't get me wrong, but it is heavy and it is heavy and thick in there. There was not a, a lot of levity to, no. to kind of let you breathe. Yeah. Season two tried to do that a bit, but again, it is. It, it, I, th I think from its almost an inception, uh, Discovery's inception, it was always meant to be a little bit dark. I mean, I think that's the reason why they gave the the ship number. 10.30. And I think that's the way Brian Fuller wanted it. Uh, anyway, so it, it was dark, more tried to be more serious. Um, hey, Raj. And stuff like that. But with Strange New Worlds, you get to take some... a bit of what we had in Discovery with uh, Pike and them. And you get to add some of the and TOS era type stuff and kind of mush that together where you can where you can have crazy episodes like the musical episode and and I personally I personally loved uh, season two of Strange New Worlds uh, and some 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 people are still miffed about the the couple of the uh, the uh, canon changes. I'm saying with air quotes uh, <laughs> that you cannot see. 
But you know what? I don't mind it. It just it just means World War Three starts up uh, faster in uh, <laughs> the timeline. Right, but that was we're trains. not even sure that that was the correct timeline. That's the yeah. that's the thing multiversal, that yeah multiversal, multiversal theory. theory yeah it just it was like okay that that doesn't necessarily mean that it's our timeline it doesn't necessarily yeah. mean I mean there there was just a lot of things that could have gone different and, and, and I. And I love, I love the way that Strange New Worlds does their episodes. They, they're self-contained, but they also have that kind of overarching plot as well. And we got to see that a lot through the second season. Um, especially with, uh, yeah, uh, especially with Lon in season two, and basically her, her overarching plot. And we got to see some resolution to Una's plot. And uh, we got we got to know a lot more history behind a lot of the characters. And some of the things I loved is we got to see some old faces again, although they ha technically had pa had passed on in in the series. We got we got to see more Hammer. Yeah, yeah, that that was very cool. I did I did appreciate the. The I, fact that he I was also, back. He, he was basically what he came on three different episodes. The yeah. actor Bruce Torak, he got to play three different characters. Yep, I I, I love that he got to play the uh, the Klingon captain there in Subspace Rhapsody. Who was doing the K-pop? Yep, <laughs> Klingon pop. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, Gen Bomb is now canon. <laughs> <laughs> I've also been checking out. I have also been reading, looking up, and reading up on Stowe. Uh, the twelfth is going to be fun for everyone. Oh yeah, <clears throat> I'm looking again, forward to that. That that that, that, it, that is again. If you have, if if, if you if you're will, if you have some of the money for lockboxes and stuff like that. Getting the proto star, that is a nice looking ship. Well, um, yeah, well I'm I'm I am i am just gonna buy it outright from the exchange whenever it goes live. Um I was gonna Yeah, after the last time I tried to win a ship, I learned my lesson pretty quickly. Well I thought that the whole point okay, so two things. Raj, I'm doing okay. I, I took a break from streaming for a while because I was working and work was really uh, it, it sucked it, it, and it's it's ongoing suck right now but at least it's eased up a bit because um, uh, I think my my job figured out that many hands make light work so there's more people that are being resourced to me to help me out with that um, and then I was going to mention about the K-pop the thing that I thought was driving the point home about the K-pop stuff was, yes, thematically heavy metal would have been more appropriate to the Klingon culture. However, the whole point of the Klingons going to attack the anomaly was because they were being forced to sing show tunes, which is very un-Klingon-like and has, and, and I, I can't imagine that their response would have been anything less than violent, which is exactly what they were going to do. So I feel like K-pop, in the grand scheme of the story, made more sense because it was demeaning and disrespectful and, dare I say, dishonorable, as opposed to what they're used to in terms of their musical culture, it, it, of what we know exactly. about their musical culture. That's why I thought it was hilarious to have like the three Klingons on the screen suddenly do like a boy band thing because it essentially underscores why they're pissed <laughs> why they're oh, yeah. <laughs> so i thought it was fantastic yeah I, I didn't see it as like oh well that's a lot of the argument that i've seen on like the subreddit the star trek subreddit was um oh that's bullshit klingons wouldn't be doing k-pop like, that's exactly the point the whole point wasn't that they were gonna like if they were doing klingon opera left right and center nobody would bat an eye at that that is appropriate and they wouldn't be angry. The whole point was they were pissed. <laughs> they were pissed yeah. that, that they were suddenly breaking out into Gershwin, you know, like in the middle or 
Irving Berlin, you know, in the middle of a battle. That that was what was pissing him off. The the one thing I do love at the start of the episode is Uhura picks yes. such a classic song yeah. to put into the subspace. Anomaly. Anything mm -hmm. goes. Well, uh, and yeah, Geek and Lonely, yes, Sam dancing in the background was awesome. I, I, he, out of everybody, he looked like he had the most fun during that whole escapade. Like, uh, the Jess Bush, uh, I'm Ready, which I thought was, I thought that was peak. That was the peak of that, the whole, that song that was... is so good. Um, and then the, the antithesis, or Spock's antithesis, which is, uh, I'm the X. I'm the X. Oh, man. Those float so well together. Okay, here we go, guys. We're gonna we're about to do battle. Because in in both in 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 both song versions, um, well, in in Spock's "I'm the X," you actually get hints of uh, "I'm ready." Mm -hmm. No, it, in... it. Oh shit! I don't even know how to. I don't know how to do battle. Fire the thingies. I didn't build a security hub. I didn't build like anything. So I think I think we're done. We'll see what happens. Ramming speed. Oh, it's gonna be. I, I want to fire the uh, fire the wave motion gun right now. <laughs> oh, nice. So we're just gonna sit here until we have uh, the ability to jump. And I guess, uh... What we need is a little Legend of the Galactic Heroes here. <laughs> we need, like, a fleet. those anti-aircraft guns going. Uh, apparently I'm, I, they're all stormtroopers. Oh shit. It's going to attach. There you go. Now they're boarding. Uh, yes to all of those. They're just going to fire. Damn 
those not Romulans. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, yeah, so I'm I'm looking forward to all of that. I think it's going to be awesome. Oh man, they got these. Oh shit. You're being boarded by multiple people. Yep. And I love the variety of the melanoid slime worms we're going to be getting. We're getting our own Murphs. Oh yeah, looking forward to that. Like we gotta send this one one fighter out, and I'm just being. Am I going to want Slimer Mirth? I don't know. Goth Mirth kind of looks cool. Heck, if you wanted to do the evil Protostar, get an evil Mirth. Yeah. We lost water containment, power. I am like I am liking we're getting a free proto star uniform out of it. Why is everybody running around on the bridge nude? This is freaking me out. <laughs> like, what the hell? Welcome to the <laughs> naked. <laughs> Welcome to the naked now. Oh, <laughs> uh, we need more jump light. Damn. Well, pretty soon we're not going to have any uh, airlocks left. Oh, no. <laughs> it only took one week. Uh, we are coming up at the end of the stream. I actually added a couple of minutes there in order to, uh, <laughs> to extend the conversation, but we're going to raid uh, my friend, uh, HC Vertigo, who is a Star Citizen streamer, but he is currently playing Starfield. So let's do a black alert. Let's head over there and uh, give him all the love and support that you can. He's an amazing streamer. Uh, also fantastic guy, very welcoming, very warm. Um, I've been watching him for, for many, many years. Uh, if you haven't already done so and you like what you see, please click the heart and ring the bell for a notification of the next time we'll be on, which will likely be Monday, since it's Labor Day. Um, please follow me on Twitter, Facebook. Uh, I'm on Blue Sky. I'm on Mastodon. All of those uh, social media outlets. Just hit me up over there. I'm usually at Fee Continuum for all of those. Uh, hit me up on the Discord. Hit the Discord channel chat command for the Discord link. We'll see you next time so stay safe stay healthy out there everybody we'll talk to you later Transmission complete.